Now we're going to explore the museum's Back to Nature exhibit. It's a beautiful walk through Maine seasons and environments, each filled with animals, plants, and birds. This exhibit reminds us of how rich Maine is in natural resources. Resources that provide people with peaceful walks in the wood as well as trees for lumber. Or it gives us granite that peaks through on our mountaintops and is also used for building important structures like the Maine State House. and plentiful rivers that we can do and fish in, but also harness for power in early mills and factories, as well as for electricity today. We will also take a peek at our Maine Gems exhibit to look at beautiful mineral specimens, including Maine's state mineral, tourmaline. Walking through the natural history exhibit at the Maine State Museum is like walking through the woods. We're going to look at many animals today, including birds and mammals. We have many different kinds of mammals here in Maine, it range from the very small to the very large. Smallest like the star-nosed mole, large mammal like a moose, but they all have something in common. The warm-blooded or endothermic like us, which means their body temperature is controlled from inside their body so they can survive here in Maine during the coldest winters. Now white-tailed deer can weigh over 200 pounds and they eat leaves and fruit and we have maybe over 275,000 of them here in Maine. The striped skunk usually live in their one-half acre area of land and they can spray up to 20 feet. Here in Maine we have over 60 to 70,000 moose and they're the main state animal. They're herbivores which means they eat all types, types of woody plants. Moose have antlers that will grow and shed every year. is like clean water. Uh, they don't do very well with polluted water at all. Very good swimmers and they will eat fish. On land you might see a river otter getting around by walking, running, bounding, or sliding. Over 464 different species of birds have been recorded here in Maine. They range from the very very small to the very large. Uh, the small hummingbird and even our state bird black cat chickadee only weighs a few ounces. Uh, the largest bird here in Maine, the bald eagle, has a wingspan of about seven feet long. The bald eagle is quite a success story. Uh, 40 or 50 years ago they were pretty well gone, they're almost extinct, and today here in Maine we have over 700 pairs of nesting bald eagles. At the coastline, uh, you might see birds like cormorants and puffins and herring gulls. And one we have on display here at the museum, you'll see the cormorant with the wings spread out, drying them. An Atlantic puffin, or common puffin, can stay in the water up to one minute long. Since all these birds live near the ocean, you can imagine they like to eat fish.
After several failed attempts and pressure from competing explorers, Maine resident Rear Admiral Robert E. Perry claimed his arrival at the North Pole on April 6, 1909. Perry reached the 90th degree latitude with the help of his crew. Although still debated, the United States government officially recognized the group in 1911 as the first humans to reach the North Pole. The Maine State Museum has several objects that belong to Perry and his family in our collection. Well, we've walked all the way around our Back to Nature exhibit, taken a close look at our, our gem and mineral display, and I hope you guys out there found all the clues. We're going to wrap up for this segment, but I hope you'll be joining us when we return, and we will be going through our Made in Maine exhibit. Hope to see you then!